Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Sunday today and I have so many things to do in the garden so I thought I might just share some of it with you. Um, please, I apologize for the noise in the background. Uh, we have a um, football field right kind of behind us. So I guess there is a match on today. So if there is the occasional clapping or shouting, that's where it's from. Um, and so what are we going to do today is I have these nerines that I completely um, forgot about. They should have been planted between April and May. So I guess I'm still kind of on, on track with it, but I want to do them today. So I'm going to plant the bulbs and they should be flowering in um, August, September. So we're going to have a bit of color uh, and lovely flowers in the autumn. Uh, I have quite a big list of things to do uh, that I was kind of collating over the week. So since today is kind of nice weather, it was raining kind of all day yesterday. Uh, we did have showers earlier this morning, but as soon as it got a bit drier, um, I had to go get out and um, I need to do a lot of stuff in here. So another thing that I want to do is to plant up this little teapot planter and I want to have it here on the table just by the sofa um, and what I want to do here is uh, I want it to be a little um, herbs kind of teapot and I've planted some chamomile earlier so I have a little little plant of chamomile already they are tiny but I'm gonna still put them in and see how it goes, how they take on. And I want to plant a little bit of thyme and um, also a little bit of, um, I don't think I'm gonna do the, oh, I might do the lemon balm as well, actually, because it's got lovely, lovely flowers. It's lemon, it's actually lemon bee balm. Uh, and then I also have anise or hyssop. So I'm gonna put them in. And I might even transplant a little bit of oregano that I have. I don't think you can see it, but it's in the pot right there. I'll see if it's gonna take um, and root in. Um, and other things that I have to do is also I have to turn the compost. I have to plant up some. Um, I do have little plants already of different kind of edible flowers of some vegetables and other ornamentals that I need to put up and yeah I need to trim the grasses as well I want to um, also prune some of the ferns that I have at the back of the garden because there are new fronds already so um, I want to do that what else do I need to do, 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 do. Yeah, also at the back of the garden um, I might show you a little bit later uh, we have some old tires so I want to put some compost in and also plant them up so that's gonna be another project I'm not sure whether it's gonna be today or maybe another day during the week um, I'll see how the weather is um, today is quite windy as you can see um, and I think it's gonna be raining a little bit later so I want to do as much as I can today and yeah, see see how I can do and I wanted to show you this little um, DM I posted um, a lot about this on my social media but this is GM totally tangerine and it's just so beautiful oh my god it's um, it's flowering so so nicely there is a lot of flowers and it's a well worthy plant so if you are guys looking for some plants for these days this is gonna flower for a very long time I totally totally uh, recommend uh, geum totally tangerine it's a well worth plant so I guess let's just um, get on with the stuff that I have to do right so let's start with the nerines um, they need to be in quite deep pot um, they need to be planted in about 20 to cent uh, 30 centimeters deep pot unfortunately at the moment I don't have anything like that um, and because I wanted to 
quickly do it and as I said it was quite unexpected because uh, it was a surprise when I opened the cupboard and I went through all my um, gardening stuff and I found um, these and realized that I haven't put them up yet so what I have is this pot it is quite deep so it might actually be about 20 centimeters maybe 25 so you will have to do and then later on um, I'll see where I want to actually keep them and I might um, I probably will actually repot them into a bigger one so these uh, need to be quite uh, planted quite deeply they need quite a lot of drainage on the bottom of the pot uh, so they don't get waterlogged and uh, as I said there will be flowering in the autumn so I will have to wait for these for a bit but I definitely will watch them day by day and see how they're growing so I'm gonna get some soil uh, some grit or some vermiculite and I'm gonna start putting them up right guys so I have some compost in I'm using peat free compost which is very important you guys probably know already but if not look it up it's um, it's definitely definitely very important that we use peat free uh, so then I put uh, quite a lot of perlite in especially on the bottom for better drainage and the bulbs look like this they're quite big so this goes on the bottom as you probably might know already and this goes up and these should be planted about two centimeters below the surface so the new growth will obviously come from here I'm just gonna put a bit more compost in and water it and then we're done I think we're done. I firmed it slightly. And now we just have to water it. Or actually I might not need it because it just started to rain. So this is all it. That's the rain all put it up. And we're done. Now we just have to wait for these beautiful flowers. So this was it for planting the rings. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you are having a lovely day and please don't forget to like the video if you liked it and also subscribe for those that haven't subscribed to me yet and are new here. Um, and until I see you next time, bye.